Hello and welcome to France 24's weekly music show with today a bit of a British twist, starting a news some fans thought would only happen in their wildest dreams, new music from the Beatles with a song called Now and Then. Now you may be wondering how is this possible seeing as they split up more than 50 years ago and with two out of the four members having passed away? Well it's thanks to artificial intelligence. The 1970s recording of John Lennon was completed last year by Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr, with AI helping to isolate Lennon's voice from the rest of the instruments. Now, fans will also get a glimpse at the making of a song, thanks to a documentary also out this week. Take a look. When we lost John, we knew that it was really over. I was talking to Yoko, and she said, Ah, oh, I think I've got a tape of John. Paul called me up and said he'd like to work on Now and Then. He put the bass on, I put the drums on. It's the last song that my dad and Paul and George and Ringo will get to make together. How lucky was I to have those men in my life? Well, Now and Then was recorded by John Lennon shortly after the Beatles broke up in 1970, but was never officially released. Now, after Lennon was murdered outside his home in New York City in 1980, his widow Yoko Ono passed on the recording to Paul McCartney. Now, moving on to some other British artists hoping to have as lasting a legacy as that of the Beatles. Dance duo Jungle have just kicked off their European tour right here in Paris and have released their fourth studio album, Volcano. Now, it's a re record erupting with timeless disco, soul and hip-hop sounds. Volcano is a follow-up to 2021's Loving in Stereo, which hit the top of the US Billboard dance charts and led them touring with superstar Billie Eilish. Now, I met up with the Mercury Prize-nominated musicians Josh and Tom just before the sound check at Paris's Sancat Cultural Space. Hey, how you doing? We're Jungle and we're here with France 24. We're just about to kick off our European tour. Feels like the first time I made time in a minute. Rock with it, I'm in attendance. How can we pair feelings aside? I gotta match the fight is to the flame. The feeling just got attached. I got the days fall, the straight fall, the weight small, the waist to start the dancing on me. Had to take your back home. Time moving slow, we fast fall. Josh and Tom, hello, and thanks for speaking to us on France 24. Now, we're here at the Saint Quatre, a music venue in the heart of Paris. You've just kicked off a European tour. Uh, what's it like playing for a European crowd? It's great. Um, it feels very familiar in many ways. Um, you know, we've been playing in Europe, but one of our first ever international shows was in France. So being back in France, it, it's great. We love it. The food's amazing. The people are amazing. Um, just exciting all around. And you're here also with your fourth album uh, called Volcano. Now it's really jam-packed full of feel-good songs, really very fun music, and especially something we need right now uh, with everything that's going on in the world. Do you feel like you owe your fans uh, a good time, so to speak? Um, I don't know. I think we owe ourselves a good time more than anything. Um, it, this album's just about, you know, fluidity and energy and, and feeling good and um, going through those ups and downs. And um, yeah, we're just, uh, we're just all about making ourselves feel good and uh, in turn the audience may feel good. Well, also in this album you have a lot of uh, very interesting collaborations. You have Eric the Architect, you have Channel Trez, uh, you also have Roots Maneuver, which I was you know, really like, happy to kind of see that, and Le Jekito, who's a producer and a singer. Uh, how did you choose these collaborations? I think, um, well, Lydia obviously is the, the big one. Um, she's kind of, you know, been a very, very close collaborator for some years now and, and an incredible writer and singer who's kind of helped shape our records and helped shape the sound in somewhat. Um, so, no, she's definitely a part of the family. And, um, you know, Eric the Architect and Channel Trez, amazing, um, amazing collaborations that we've managed to get on the album. And uh, it, it just broadens our sound for us, you know, and it's, it's, it's allowing other people to kind of use their voices on our productions. You know, we always started off as producers, um, so it's kind of... At this point, being able to, you know, have, have a name that's, that's big enough to kind of get, get, get some friends in. Backseat for good love, you could have just got a hotel. You look good for, oh well, only care if you want me. Now, the album also comes with a motion picture. Can you talk us through the visuals uh, for, the, for the motion so, picture? Yeah, we, we, we've, since the last album, we've decided that we'd be making um, visuals and one-take dance visuals for, the, uh, for each track, as we never knew which track would 
react. So um, we saw it as an opportunity, almost like a, a Netflix series, to kind of you know engage our audience and, and, and create fun visuals that accompany the track. So for this album, we um, put together you know 14 videos, which is um, part of the motion picture for Volcano, with incredible dancers, incredible choreographers, and um, yeah, you're gonna gonna have to go and check it out. Now, speaking of the visuals, one of the, the music videos for, um, for the album, which is back on 74, has really become this viral sensation. Um, and apparently it has just under 180 million views on TikTok for the hashtag uh, back on 74 with you know, people around the world trying to mimic the choreography. Why do you think this video has become such a hit? I don't think you can really um, pinpoint. I think it starts with the music, obviously, and then I think that the dance and what Shayla Tukulun has done with the choreography and the incredible dancers Will West have, have put into it and um, express their <clears throat> express the energy of the song through the dance. And I think that when you get those perfect marriages between song and dance, then that could be the thing that ignites, you know, the inspiration in other people. <laughs> tend to direct, or you've directed most of the videos, right, for, uh, for Jungle. Um, and we see you in these new music videos, kind of the back of your heads only. That's a, the most we see of it's you. beautiful head. Beautiful heads. <laughs> but do you think of the next music videos we're going to see maybe in front of the camera? I don't know. I think it's going to be hours and hours of dance classes, and I, I'm not sure I've got the time for that. We've always been, you know, producers, creators, writers, and, you know, we've always seen ourselves as, as behind the lens, you know. Um, so I, I think we enjoy you know, showcasing talent more than we would um, being the talent. Now, just to go back to your debut album, it was Mercury nominated, and I read that you felt a lot of pressure after that album came out, and especially with the follow-up. I read also you said it was a painful experience. Um, how so, and do you feel like you guys have kind of found your groove now? I think all artists have that. Um, it's very difficult to... It was, it was quite difficult for us to understand how far the first record went. We made that in Josh's bedroom when we were like, like what, 10 years ago? and. When you come to making the second one, there are you know, preconceptions that you have in your head as an artist, and those are difficult to come to terms with, but ultimately it's about confidence, and we're just in a place now where we're making music with so much confidence, we're making art with true belief and true heart and true passion, and at the moment it feels like it's coming very easily because we're in a place of just accepting what we're doing and loving it and, and enjoying it, and everything else comes very naturally after that. Now, I know you two are childhood friends, but I can imagine that a tour can really test any friendship. Not to, you know, call anyone out, but are there any kind of techniques to survive each other on a grueling tour? I think, um, you know, we've always had a big band, a large band and a lot of people, and we've always really enjoyed the family and collective aspects of, of what we do. So, you know, there's so many dynamics within it that if you're feeling away with somebody, then, you know, there's always somebody else to cheer you up. And I have to ask this question because we're in France and we're a French uh, TV channel. Do you follow any French artists? Is there anyone you have your eye on that you would like to work with or that you listen to? Yeah, so uh, one of our favourite French artists at the moment is a guy called Mid. Um, I mean, the Blaze are still making incredible electronic records. I feel like a very special witness. Freedom itself, dancing, 
in that crazy mess. Um, I listened to a lot of MC Solar when I was younger. Le vent souffle en Arizona, un état d'Amérique dans lequel Arizona. Daft Punk, Justice, you know, yeah. like massive inspirations for um, for Jungle. Okay, well, Josh and Tom, thank you so much for speaking to us in Fast Twenty Four. Thank you. Well, that was Jungle, who are currently on tour around Europe with their album Volcano. Now finishing with a band who are celebrating spooky season with a Halloween-inspired album. Duran Duran's haunting Dance Macabre blends original songs full of Duran Duran's much-loved 80s synth sounds, as well as covers uh, by, of Billie Eilish's Bury a Friend and Talking Heads' Psycho Killer. We'll leave you with that track. Now for more arts and culture, head to our website and stay in touch on social media. There's more news coming up on France 24 just after this. Conversation, you can't even finish it. You're talking a lot, but you're not saying anything. When I have nothing to say, my lips are sealed. Say something once, why say it again? Psycho killer, kiss, kiss, say,